In health news, advancements have been made for a cancer vaccine. New data from a trial investigational mRNA powered cancer vaccine from Merck and Moderna showing it delayed the return of skin cancer melanoma when combined with immunotherapy. Here to talk about these findings is melanoma expert UNC Health oncologist Dr. Sturgios Moscos. Dr. Moscos, thank you so much for your time. I know you're also a professor at UNC School of Medicine as well. So can you talk about why these findings uh, are significant? Because uh, the standard of care uh, treatment right now um, is only one drug, which is called uh, uh, Keytruda or Optivo. This belongs to the class of PD-1 inhibitors. And that the addition of the uh, vaccine, which, by the way, is a personalized vaccine. It's not one size fits all. When combined with standard immunotherapy, uh, delays the uh, tumor relapse by approximately 44% in this early readout of these randomized small phase two study. Yeah, so those are some significant numbers there. And we know that melanoma accounts for about 1% of all skin cancers, but it also causes a majority of deaths, according to the American Cancer Society. So the big question for anybody who may have melanoma, how long would it be until this could come to market to help? Please be mindful that this is the early readout of a small phase two randomized study of uh, the combination of this personalized vaccine by Moderna in combination with uh, Merck versus uh, uh, Keytruda alone. Um, uh, the company is planning uh, to make a much larger study uh, of the exact same uh, 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 trial combination of vaccine ver plus Keytruda versus Keytruda alone. And these studies take a while to what we call in our language mature. So it may take approximately three to four years until the signal reaches the FDA and uh, gets uh, 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 FDA approval. So it could be a couple of more years, but it does give a lot of people hope. And these are significant findings, correct? Yes, it's um, amazing for somebody like myself who has been in the field for quite a long time. When 20 years ago, melanoma vaccines were in the form of a clinical trial and we were not seeing any signal of efficacy, to now come 20 years later to talk about personalized vaccines that when combined with standard immunotherapies, they extend the progression of free survival a bit longer. And uh, it's important to be mindful that the vaccine side effects are minimal uh, than anything and therefore uh, uh, adding a second treatment to an existing immunotherapy will not significantly increase toxicity. That's good news. And uh, as we said, you're also a professor there. I know uh, we heard so much about mRNA vaccines, of course, throughout the pandemic with COVID, but this is just an example of moving that technology forward. Can you talk about some of the research uh, that you're doing there as well at UNC? We at the uh, Leinberger Comprehensive Cancer Center have been very honored to have um, uh, Dr. Fenton Owen who has been, uh, who had done his uh, uh, PhD at MIT under lead uh, scientist who discovered the Moderna formulation. There is ongoing research to improve this formulation, to improve vaccine efficacy across many more cancer subtypes. And uh, we are actually working in this in uh, mice. Well, we certainly appreciate the work that you are doing there to help uh, so many people uh, that might be you know, uh, suffering from melanoma and other diseases as well. Dr. Sturgios Moscos, we appreciate your insight and your work. Thanks for your time. I appreciate the opportunity, ma'am. Have a good day.